the Delaware and Hudson Colony Shops were the main locomotive maintenance and repair facility for the railroad. The shops were built in 1912 and replaced the previous main locomotive repair facility that was located at Green Island, New York, which was built in the 1870s. The new colony shops were much larger than Green Island and were comprised of a 387 foot by 510 foot locomotive erecting shop, a 90 foot by 180 foot steel and iron foundry, a 30 stall roundhouse, and a 90 foot turntable. Among the largest steam locomotives served by the colony shops were the 44664 Challenger type engines owned by the Delaware and Hudson. At over 120 feet in length, they were too long to fit on the turntable and had to be turned on the balloon track south of the shops. During the steam era, Several advances in locomotive design were developed at colony shops, including welded boilers and roller bearing side rods. One of the most ambitious projects colony undertook were the high pressure steam experiments. Locomotives built around this time were designed to run at 200 to 250 psi. The D&H modified a handful of locos to operate at 350 to 500 PSI. The result was a more fuel efficient system, but the downside was increased cost and maintenance due to the special alloys and thicker metals that needed to be used. And with the advent of diesel locomotives, the experiment bent would have not been economically feasible in the long run. In the mid-1950s, it was decided that Colony would be the main diesel locomotive repair shop for the D&H. Prior to that, Aniana, New York had been the main diesel shop. Some of the most famous Delaware and Hudson diesel locomotives that made Colony their home were the two Baldwin RF-16 shark nose freight locomotives and the four Alco PA passenger locomotives. In 1984, the Delaware and Hudson was purchased by Gulliford Transportation Industries along with other railroads in the Northeast in order to create a regional rail system. The 70 year old shops were kept open for running repairs, but all heavy locomotive maintenance was moved to Gulliford's North Balearica, Massachusetts shop. In 1988, following two major labor strikes, and the fact that traffic on the railroad did not grow as expected, Gulliford declared the Delaware and Hudson bankrupt and abandoned it. In order to keep serving customers in the area, the federal government ordered the New York, Susquehanna, and Western Railway to operate the Delaware and Hudson until a buyer could be found. In 1991, Canadian Pacific Railway purchased the D&H and decided to permanently close the colony shops. In 1994, CP Rail started to slowly demolish the 90-year-old shop buildings. During this time, the Mohawk and Hudson chapter of the National Railway Historical Society which wanted to turn the shop into a museum, was using some of the property to store rail equipment they planned on restoring. A 
A major fire in 2004 destroyed most of the remaining buildings, and another fire in 2010 finished the job. Now a vacant lot sits where the pride of the Delaware and Hudson once stood. If you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Keep up with the most current releases and events and what's coming up next on the channel. If you want to help keep this train rolling, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Thank you and see you in the next video.